Hi, I'm Carl Taylor, photographer and photography instructor. Hello, I'm Urs Rechio, photographer and consultant at Brown Color. So Urs, on this uh, how-to video, I believe you're going to photograph this lovely model, Lily, using an ultraviolet light. Yes, exactly. It's, uh, the, the basic setup is, uh, let's say, white fashion or let's say white underwear on a white background. So yes. we have to uh, work very carefully with the light, that the background light has not too much effect on her. Okay. As a second light, we add a softbox, which is just modulating her body. Right. But as well, the second light, the softbox is actually a backlight, it's coming right. from behind coming her. from behind. So essentially, most of her body is going to be in the shade then? Absolutely. We have most of the bodies in the shade, so the, the skin is very dark. And if I shoot this white underwear with this light, it just turns out to be very dark gray and looks dirty. Right, so and without the ultraviolet light, it's very dark. Exactly. Okay. And so I add in the end, as a last light, I add the ultraviolet light. You can see already uh, that we illuminate the background with these uh, polystyrene walls that mm -hmm. we set up in angles. So it's should, a, we, should we go and take a yeah, look at we that can and then do. we can see, uh, see what you've got going on? And these lights are just bare bulbs. Right. And bare bulbs, they have a light angle of uh, 270 degrees. So let's say all the, these, uh, these walls are illuminated, the, the light that yeah. comes back is completely diffused. So Lovely, it's, soft. It's 100% even. Yeah. I mean, your background is very, very clean, but uh, even if you have, let's say, a slightly textured background, mm. like a wrinkled paper yeah. or a, 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 not a, a, not smooth. a, yeah. a smooth uh, wall, so this diffused light takes away all the texture of your Fills background. All in. So that's going to give us the lovely pure white background. Yes. You've got this black cloth draping yeah, down here. Exactly. Um, as well, the, the other side of the wall is painted black mm -hmm. and this as well. And uh, the idea is to, to block all the light that actually wants to come back from the wall to the rest of the studio. And this would be like a diffused fill-in for, for the model. Okay, so shall we start the picture with just the background so we can build the shot up gradually and let people see the stages Absolutely, of the build up. Yeah. So okay. we switch off the softbox and the UV and make a first shot. Yep, let's do that, great. So we've got the model pretty much silhouetted against that yes. white background. Exactly. So we see two things. Also, the background is almost complete white. It's 2, 240, but yep. with the additional light from the front, it will be a 250, so it will be okay. out. The, the table, you know, you see the difference between the skin, which is almost complete black, and the table. Mm. And the table is already white, even when there is no light there, because yeah. it's reflecting the reflecting background. The back. So the next light arm will be the softbox. Yeah. See uh, what yes. effect that has. You can see now, already now, that the softbox is nicely um, following the, the form of the body, or the direction of the body, yep. that we have more or less the same distance from the softbox to the face as from, from the, the softbox to yep. the leg. Great. Okay, let's uh, pop that light on. Um, Yes, the arm. Yeah, okay, good. good. Right, so there's the shot you had before us yes. with just the silhouette, and where's it with the softbox? Oh, okay, the there softbox, we go. Yeah. Right, so now we can see that lovely top light, edge lighting, fringe lighting around the model. Yes. But like you say, the underwear still looks quite grey, doesn't yes. it? It's not standing out. You're right, the, the underwear here, if we sell, let's say if this is a product shot to sell the white underwear, it just looks dirty grey. Yeah, yeah. That's why the UV comes yep. without destroying the rest well, of the Well, I've light. never seen the UV light in action, so I'm very curious to see what it does. Okay, let's have a look. So uh, the UV is... Uh, needs a lot of light because yep. it absorbs most of the light, so I just immediately start on 10. Yeah, so you're full power on that I'm one, I'm on right? full power on, on the 3200 joules, mm -hmm. um, but I'm shooting at f16. And so this is the UV light here. Um, is the modeling light off? Because I see no light The modeling light is off, yes. At all at the moment. So it's a, it's a normal accessory. You can actually use it on, on any light. You know, yesterday we have been shooting with the Zeros. It works yep. just as fine. It's just normal bayonet. We took the protecting glass off because the protecting glass actually absorbs the UV light right. and then we absorb the rest so there's nothing left here. Sure. Okay, so it makes sense to, to switch this Take off. Take that off, yeah. So, so now we should see no extra light on the body absolutely. from the UV because yeah. it's not going to react with the skin, but we will see it react with the white fabric. Yes. Okay. It does. Yes. The arm. Yeah. Okay, good. Good. 
So, Urs, here we have the first shot with just the background lights yeah, on. Exactly. Then your softbox, which has illuminated the contour of the body, mm -hmm. but we can still see the underwear is grey. And then UV light, bang. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. And that's amazing because we're not seeing any increase in light on the body, but this huge increase in light from ultraviolet reflectance off of the uh, white material. Um, right, well, I think that was a great how-to video. Uh, for more how-to videos, then uh, follow Broncolor on their Facebook page, like them on their Facebook page, stay up to date with uh, the videos that we're doing and also some of the uh, other bits and pieces Exactly, you do. Yeah. besides the videos, we have a lot of how-tos just on the website with the, the, the photograph, the, the diagram, the lighting diagram, technical explanation, why we use the lights like this, all the technical data, like the focal lens, the aperture and so on. And it's just on the website, bron.ch or broncolor.com. Yep. How to, yep. very easy accessible. Or Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.